What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to make a sweet potato lasagna. It's just a regular lasagna, but instead of pasta, we're going to use sweet potato in between the layers. It's absolutely delicious. So to make this video a little less long, I've prepared the bolognese sauce ahead of time. I'm going to link to it here above. I made this in the slow cooker overnight and I've prepared my bechamel sauce. If you want your uh, sweet potato lasagna to be gluten-free, you have to use gluten-free flour. Works perfectly well and tastes absolutely delicious as well. All you have to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then take washed sweet potatoes. I like the very thick kind, but like elongated, it's easier to slice them with a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you can also use a sharp knife, but it's going to be much more difficult to get evenly and consistently thinly sliced sweet potatoes. So I highly recommend the mandolin. I am linking to this one in the description below so you can get the exact same one I have. I absolutely love it. It's a Japanese mandolin. So you slice your sweet potato very thinly because that way it cooks much faster. And then all we have to do is start preparing our lasagna. So we start the first layer with a very, very thin layer of bechamel sauce. This is to avoid having the sweet potato stick to the bottom of our pan. So we use a little bit of bechamel sauce then we lay out our thinly sliced sweet potato. Then we start with a layer of bolognese sauce and a little bit of cheese. Now, any cheese that melts is great. I'm using mozzarella cheese here, but Emmentaler, Edamur, cheddar, anything that melts will taste great in this recipe. So after you put the cheese on top, you lay out another layer of sweet potato. And this time we use bechamel sauce. When I use bechamel sauce, I don't top it off with cheese because it's already kind of creamy and uh, has a lot of butter and cream or milk in it. So after that, we lay out again another layer of sweet potatoes and we go back to the bolognese sauce with a little bit of cheese on top. And then you repeat these steps all the time until you reach the top of your baking dish. And the last layer should always be bechamel sauce. And instead of our melty cheese, we're going to use Parmesan cheese because Parmesan cheese becomes really nice and brown at the top. It doesn't necessarily melt and it makes for this beautiful brown crust at the top. So now it's time to put it in the oven for anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes or until the Parmesan is nice and brown on top, take it out of the oven and cut right into it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more recipes like this one. And if you try this recipe, don't forget to snap a picture, post it on Instagram, tag me. I want to see, I want to know how you liked it and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.